Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Basic three learners. This is Sir Collins. This is Sir Collins. If this is your first time watching me, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, this is Perfect Score GH, and our website is perfectscoregh.com. Okay, when you visit there, you have a lot of things for you. You have a lot of things in stock. Now, this is your mass lesson. Okay, I have my lessons on basic one, lessons on basic two, lessons on basic three, lessons on basic four, basic five, and basic six. Okay, but this is basic three. So if you are, this is your first time watching me. In fact, this is your first lesson. Okay, so you can see lesson what one, lesson one. Okay, lesson one. Okay, now let's start. We are not going to waste much time here. Okay. Now, remember, my lessons are based on the new curriculum, the new curriculum, which is the new GES curriculum, okay? So, if you are watching me, kindly subscribe, follow my lessons from lesson one, lesson two, and whatever you do in class, the same thing I'm teaching you here, so you have to you stay ahead of the class, okay? Okay, now, let's start. So, our strand here is number. I know you are doing that in the class, and you're looking at the substrand is content, representation, cardinality, and ordinality. Then our content standard one, one is what counting and estimate quantities from zero to ten thousand. Okay, and our first indicator is use number names and the counting sequence to count and estimate quantities up to what ten thousand. But the examples in the syllabus says. The first example says we should skip count forest and backwards from zero to ten thousand by tens, fifties, one hundred, five hundred, and one thousand, starting at any point. So when you are done, you have to identify and correct errors or omissions in escape counting sequence. So we are we learn how to identify and correct correct errors or omissions in Skip counting by tens, fifties, hundreds, five hundreds, and up to what? One thousands. Okay. Now let's look at our lesson focus. Skip counting forwards by tens and skip counting backwards by tens. So in this first lesson, we are looking at the two: how we can skip count forward by tens and how we can skip count backwards by what? Tens. Now let's look at the first lesson focus. We are looking at skip counting forwards by tens. When you are finished, we look at the second lesson focus, which is keep counting backwards by what? Tens. Okay, so let's take the first one. Now, there's a clue in everything. In order to get it easy, you have to what? You said, you learned the clue that it said to skip count by tens forward. This is the clue. Increase the given number by 10 or add, okay, or add to the given number or add 10 to the given number repeatedly so when you add 10 to this one you add 10 to the other one so whatever you get add 10 to it repeatedly right now let me i made a small chart for you to see so this is 10 when you add 10 to the 10 what are you going to get 20 30 40 50 60 up to 1000 okay so this keep counting forward by tens so that's a chart you see here okay so you can use this chart as a guide through your lessons now let's look at the example. We are skip counting by what? Four by ten. So I gave you an example here. It's one to five. So let's look at it. We have ten. What is missing here? So when you take the chart, you see that from ten, where do you go? Twenty. You add ten to the ten. What are you going to get? Twenty. So you write twenty here. Okay. Twenty is missing there. So you add twenty. So 10, 20, 30 will be what? 40. Okay. So here we will have 50. Then the next one we will add 60. So skip counting for it by 10. It's just like the multiples of what? 10. 10 times 1, 10, 10 times 2, 20. That's the multiples of what? 10. Okay. So let's take this one. 70 here will be what? 80. 90 here will be what? 100. 
then 110 then here will be 100 and what 20 so you can use the this chart this chart as a guide okay now let's take the next one the next one here that's the next one here number three this one 200 here we are 200 and what 200 and 200 and what 10 210 and here will be 220 because we added one 10 to the 10 here that will be 20 so here will be 200 and what 30 so just add only 10 only 10 then here will be 200 and what 40 right okay back to the next one number four number four so let's take the chart realize that this is 290 here okay so 290 what do you get 300 310 320 330 blah 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 just adding 10 to the figure okay add 10 to it so here number four we have 290 what do you have here 300 okay 310 320 and 300 and what 30 okay so you add 10 to this figure i'll go to get 300 here the next one will be 300 and what 10 then here will be what 320 then here will be 300 and what 30 okay so there's 400 and here will be 400 and what 10 okay 420 here will be 400 and what 30 okay and this is 440 right i hope you are following it okay now let's take more examples so skip count forwards by 10 by adding okay so you add 10 to this one add 10 to that add 10 to that so let's look at that example and see when we add 10 to this 150 plus 10 and give us what So number five, you realize you have 400 here. So you add 10 to the 400 will be 410. Add 10 to 410, get 420. So here will be 400 and what? 30, 440, and 400 and what? 50. Now we have more examples here. Here it says skip count forward by tens by adding. So you add this. You are adding. Tens throughout. Okay, so there's 150. You add 10 to that. The first 10. How do we have zero here? This one will be what six. This will be what so 160. Let's add this second 10. That'll be one what zero seven one. 170. Add a third 10. 170 plus 10. How do we have there? Zero eight. One, one hundred and what? Eighty. Right? Now let's take two hundred. So let's add ten to this. So two hundred and ten, two hundred and twenty, two hundred and thirty, and two hundred and what? Forty. Okay? You can do it this way if you don't understand it. Okay? Now let's take three hundred and twenty. Three hundred and twenty here with three hundred and what? Thirty. Three hundred and forty. 350, 360, and 300 and what? 70. Okay? Then this is 410, 420, 430, 440, and 400 and what? 50. Then last one, 50, 60, and 70. So that is how we skip counting by adding tens. So you send from here to here, very simple and easy to understand. Okay, so if you don't understand, please go over the video again. So let's go to the next lesson focus two. Skip counting backwards by ten. So we did the first one was skip counting what forward by ten. That's the first focus. Okay, this one. Now the second one is to skip counting backwards by 10 so now we are going backwards instead of forwards now let's look at the clue here to skip count by 10s backwards you must decrease the given number by what 10 repeatedly so decreasing means reducing the given number by 10 repeatedly repeatedly okay so here we have 
I made a small chart for you to see. So remember, it's just like the first one, but you have turned the number upside down. Okay, so you have 1,910. Take out 910. Okay, 980, 970, 960, 950, up to 10. Okay, so let's take the example here. Example we have here. So you just reduce the number or deduct 10 from the given number repeatedly. So here we have 90. How to be here? Let's deduct 10 from it. If you don't understand it, you can also use this the chart. So 90, what is the next one? 80. So 80 will be here. Okay, after 80, what do you have? 70. After 70, we have 60, which is already there. Then after 60, we have 50. Okay, so that is it. Now, 100. 100, you have 90. Okay, then you have 80. Then you have 70, then 60. Then 60, we have 50 here. 40 here, right? Then 30, then 20, then what? 10. Okay? Then 120, 120, 120 is here. You have 110 here. Then 100 here. Then 90, which is already there. Then 80 will be here. Very simple, right? Okay. So let's take number 5. So number 5, 150. 150. It's 150. What will be there? So 150 here. Subtract 10 from 150. So it's 0. 5 minus 1 will be 4. Okay. So here will be 140. Okay. So 140. When you subtract 10 from 140, you are going to get what? 130. When you subtract 10 from 130, what are you going to get? 120. Let's look at whether it's true or false. 130 minus 10. 0, 2. Okay, 3 minus 1 is 2. So you have 1 here. Okay, so that's 120. Okay, so from that, 120 subtract 10. I go to get 110. Then 110 you subtract 10, I go to get 100. Simple. If you do it this way, you we'll get it more easy. Let's take more examples on that. More examples on that. More examples. Now, skip count for uh, backwards. Sorry. Skip count backwards. Sorry. Skip count backwards. Suppose we skip count backwards. Backwards by. Keep coming backwards by tens by subtracting. Sorry, subtracting, subtracting. Okay, so here you subtract. When you are going backwards, you subtract, you deduct, you reduce the the given number. Okay, so here you just have to know what to do. Okay, with this one, you have to know what to do. Are we clear? Okay, so let's look at the first example. First example: 90, 90 minus what? Ten is eighty. Eighty minus ten. 70 70 minus 10 that's the answer i'm listening 70 minus 10 60 so you have 60 here okay 120 minus 10 110 110 minus 10 100 100 minus 10 90 90 minus 10 80 80 minus 10 70 so this one is 1 2 3 4 so 40 and as that to give you as what? 100 and what? 80. Okay? So, so you have 80 here. You want to, want to know that it is true. So 100 minus 120 minus 10. 0. This minus this. 1. 1. Another 10. Because there are how many 10s there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Okay? First one and second one. This is 0. This will be zero. One minus one is zero, okay? That's that. So let's take the next one. Zero here. Zero minus one, which is not possible. So what are you going to do? Just 
normally use the word barrel okay so let's go rename one from there barrel one to this side when you take that one to add it to the tens they'll be left with nothing here. so here will be zero so add the one here moving to the from the hundreds to the tens when you add one to the that will give you 10 okay because you're replacing it from the zero to the 10 so 10 minus one will go at 90. so 90 that's the third one then the fourth one 90 minus 10 is the fourth 10. so why do you have the zero here nine minus one eight so therefore here is what eight are we clear so that is how you got your answer there 80 so you can try for this one up to that try it and let's see whether you can do it at home okay up to that so that end that is the end of lesson one okay that's the end of lesson one so if you have any question kindly if you're a parent and you are watching me kindly join our youtube channel okay and also join our whatsapp link below whatsapp link below and also please do not forget to donate you see the donating uh, our donations numbers below if you are a fan of crypto too you see our addresses below kindly donate to help promote this platform because we are giving out this lessons at no cost you don't pay anything for the lesson but you can help the, the the lesson giver with your donations to make it more accessible to many many people so that we can employ more people or we can extend or open our arms okay so that we can grow this firm together can you join the the link below the whatsapp the whatsapp our whatsapp link is below so can you join it so go and i'll see you now second lesson now second word lesson i'm saying collins and i always say in the creator we trust in the creator we trust until i meet you in our second lesson i'm out <laughs>